Hey guys, how's it going? So this is a pre-recorded as of 9.05 p.m. on July 7th, 2020. My birthday. But anyways, I would appreciate if you guys join my Discord. Uh, I'm trying to build a community of traders so we can learn off each other and we can all potentially, you know, find good picks that could make us multiple returns on investment hopefully I don't know but I would love to make a community of you know just a group of you know investors and traders because you know I think that's the best way to grow is to share information and knowledge with each other so I'm hoping people join I don't know uh, so far people have joined but nobody has really said too much and I'm always replying so, but I would like for you guys to talk amongst yourself and not just have me come in and talk to you guys. So anyways, uh, if you want to learn how to download the disc, uh, join the Discord, basically all you do is click on Discord download, download for Windows, and then after you download it, you can go on my link, which will be right in the description. Just click on it. And then uh, after you sign up to Discord, like after you register and get your name in and, you know, and after that you can just, uh, you could talk to everyone. So far I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people in this group. So I'm hoping to get 100, maybe 200. So join, uh, I you know, and if you want me to make new tabs, like I made a tab for very good butchers, I made one for Rura, I made one for solo, I made one for option trading. If you want to play, uh, put your option trades once in a while, I may, I may put out what I play as an option, uh, as an option trade, but uh, you know, not financial advice, just showing you what I would do once in a while. It's not going to be a hundred percent of the time, but yeah. Come join the community. If you have any problems trying to join, just comment down below and I will try to help you as best as I can. Anyways, if you're new to my video, uh, please subscribe. One day I want to get this 100,000 subscriber plaque card. Hopefully one day, you know, that would make my dream come true, but you know, that's just me. Anyways, in this video, we are going to be talking about very good food company or uh, very good butchers very good butchers is their brand for their product and their restaurant very good food company is the company's name like actual name like beyond meat name um so you know i think very good company has a very a lot of potential and can 10 extra money and can make you a millionaire so if you in like if you can get a hundred thousand shares of very like very stock and this thing goes to uh, ten dollars you will be able to make one million dollars from your investment that's if you can get a hundred thousand and the lower the stock price goes the better I don't think the stock price is going back down to 50 cents could be wrong but you know unless the stock market crashes then yeah sure I can see that happening but I'm hoping that they are able to sit list on the NASDAQ in the future, that would make me extremely happy. Uh, they, need a, uh, they need a price target of $3.50 US. They are also, they're, they're a Canadian company, but they are able to sell to the US. They are selling through Sobeys on July 15th. They are going to be selling to all the Sobe stores. Uh, like, their distribution is so thin right now and they just have such limited amount of products it's kind of it's kind of it's in in a sense it's kind of bad because their distribution is so thin right now their customers are you know have to wait five four to five weeks just to get their products and then now the they're, they're going to uh, Sobeys I, I just, I don't understand it. I mean, I think they should just slow down and just focus on their customers and not really try to expand so fast because, until they get more product. Uh, I know they're working, I, from according to an interview, they are working on a facility and that facility, once it's done, I think will be a major catalyst for the stock. 
could be wrong, but if they announce like a 50,000 square foot facility uh, that is, you know, fully, uh, like fully renovated for the purpose of building uh, protein food products, I think the stock would explode to the upside in a big way. And then uh, if they ever list on the NASDAQ, I think this stock, I think people on the NASDAQ will take this company to like people in the US will take this company to one billion dollars. I think so. Uh, because if we look at Beyond Meat, it's worth eight point nine billion dollars US. A very good food company is worth ninety five million dollars. They are probably going to have to dilute. I estimate a dilution of a hundred million shares. I hope they don't do any more than a hundred million shares, but I expect at least a hundred million shares of dilution. If they if the stock price goes to ten bucks, that's only a billion Canadian, which is about seven hundred and fifty million US. So I can easily easily see this stock go to ten Canadian dollars. And if you were to invest into the stock at these prices, not financial advice. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying it can make you a millionaire. That's the title of this video. That very good butchers can make you a millionaire. I, and I, I think it's a really big possi possibility. All you need is 100,000 shares and all you need is to gamble this stock will go to $10. That's if you even want to. I'm just saying, you know, just uh, disclosure, I'm a shareholder and, you know, but, and I do really believe in this company. I really believe in this food product and I, I believe that be uh it, one day it could have a market cap of one billion U.S. dollar, which is about possibly twelve to thirteen Canadian dollars, which would make a lot of people a lot of money if that was to happen. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, this. So, if you haven't noticed, very good butchers was on Dragon Den. There were six people there. One guy was being uh, a hole. While the editors were like, oh, this is pretty good. And they all made a deal with Very Good Butchers. They ended up with a deal. Well, they didn't really go through with it. But two people, two dragons came together, offered them $750,000 for 10% of the company. This was before Beyond Meat IPO. Be this is before, remember, this is before Beyond Meat IPO. Beyond Meat right now is worth $143. If they knew that Beyond Meat was going to IPO and be worth $143, I think these guys would definitely made a deal with uh, Very Good Butchers and I think they would attempt to bring this, this, uh, this company onto the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. I, that's what I think the Dragons would do, but I think what happened was the advisors uh, told them that they don't think that this is such a good investment and you know I if I was the dragons I'd be like looking at the my advisor and be like you idiot you are a moron I could have been rich or richer but you you know you idiots but anyways uh, like I said like if these guys got a hold of very good butchers and uh, took them public with Beyond Meat, or even raise money through pri private, private, private rounds, and have the same of like they. I think very good butchers can easily have a couple billion dollar valuation, if uh it, you know if Beyond Meat IPO'd and these guys were these dragons were involved with uh very good butchers, but unfortunately they're not, and the IPO'd in Canada, and this creates a huge opportunity for us. As investors to get a 10x in return on investment you know this is my opinion right this is just my opinion I'm really excited about this company I have a good amount of money invested into this company I'm not going to disclose it simply because I don't want to know I don't want people to know how much money I have so I do have a decent amount and I'm holding long term I don't care if the stock market crashes I'm holding long term and if this thing dips to 60, 70 cents, I'm buying more. I'm buying more. Like that's just a gift if it if, if that happens. Anyways, uh if you watch this video right here, 
they talked about how the dragons had to drop the deal. But if the dragons knew about Beyond Meat, they would have snapped up this company. Everyone would be like, oh yeah, Beyond Meat, the new very good butchers. Oh yeah, we're going to freaking take this thing to the NASDAQ and all, you know, make hundreds of millions of dollars. That's what they would have done. But unfortunately, they didn't go through with the deal and it ended up launching in Canada. There's going to be a lot of people that make a lot of money off this. Uh, that got it at 25 cents and 50 cents in my opinion. And if they can get this thing on the NASDAQ, boom! 10 bucks, man. 10 bucks. Because you, because a lot of people would compare it to uh, Beyond Meat. And this thing will get pushed up like no tomorrow. But again, that's my opinion. I don't control the stock price. Rich people do. So I'm hoping rich people see my video and they agree with me. And they move the stock price up. I don't know if they will, but at the end of the day, big money moves the market, not small money. Anyways, uh, Solo Mechanica is also another company I'm also very heavily invested into. And I really believe in this company. And if this thing drops back to down to $2.50 or lower, I'm definitely buying more. Uh, and if it keeps dropping, I'm definitely going to buy more. I'm not going to stop buying uh, until I have like... A hundred thousand. If it drops to a dollar, I guarantee you. I promise you, I will have at least a hundred thousand shares of this company. If this stock price drops down to a dollar, if it doesn't, then oh well, I'll just leave it alone. I think this company at a dollar, the stock market crash wouldn't even affect it because it's simply just way too undervalued. But again, that's my opinion. Unless some bad news happens, I don't think this stock will drop dramatically. Could be wrong. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm hoping that Solo becomes like the top 10 or even number 1. It would make me so happy if the Solo stock be, uh, beat Ford in the popularity on Robinhood. It would just make it would just make me so happy. So happy that you know Solo went from the bottom all the way up to number 1 position on Robinhood. That would just make my day if that happened. But will it happen? I don't know. I hope so. Uh, the, the Dow is up 80 points. Uh, the S&P 500, you know, is... So the market looks like it's going to be slightly green tomorrow. FBI slams Chinese cyber attacks, one of the largest transfer of wealth in human history. That doesn't sound too good. But yeah, anyways, uh, I think tomorrow is going to be a green day. Uh, I think the market is not going to crash this summer. I think if you were to look for a crash, it'd be around election time, which was October, September is when you should be really careful. Anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.